I don't know. Just depends on what the Lord wants in any service as we try to follow God. But uh, I don't feel like I'll preach very long tonight. No promises. It's dangerous to say that. <clears throat> but uh, I just have a few thoughts on my heart that perhaps we'd like to look at tonight. If uh, if you want to uh, turn, in your, uh, turn in your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 24, reading one short verse. Amen. Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 11. When you have it, say amen. amen. Praise God. <clears throat> amen. All right. There is a crying. For wine in the streets, all joy is darkened, the mirth of the land is gone. Amen. Short verse. Let's everybody read it together. There is a crying for wine in the streets, all joy is darkened, the mirth of the land is gone. Amen. You may be seated. I want to talk to you from this simple verse tonight. I'll have Ricky to read maybe a, another verse or two. As we go through this verse tonight, I want to talk to you about crying for wine. <clears throat> crying for wine. Uh, I'm not talking to you tonight about this uh, intoxicating alcoholic wine. Amen. The Bible tells us the wise man Solomon, amen, in his writings in Proverbs said, Look not upon the wine when it, when it moveth itself in the cup, for afterward it biteth like a serpent. So we're not going to talk to you about that kind of a wine tonight. But I'd like to, uh, as we look at this verse 11, just for a moment of two, Amen. I want you to understand that they're in a terrible time in the history of Israel. It is a desolate time. It is a difficult time. Amen. And uh, there's desolation in the streets, the Bible tells us. The gate is smitten with destruction. It is a difficult time for them. They have uh, missed the will of God for their life and not listen to the voice of God. And when that happens, it always turns out, amen, that there is desolation and destruction and darkness. Amen. People lose their joy when they lose the blessings of God. Amen. In the Bible, wine is always a type of or typical of the Spirit of God, especially the Holy Ghost. Amen. And, and when things get difficult and there is desolation, there is hardship, there is darkness, there is sadness. Amen. There ought to be a cry come out of the heart of the people of God for the spiritual wine that only comes from God. Amen. Wine has a way in the natural of making people happy. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. In the natural, the worldly wine, amen, makes people hilarious. They forget their troubles. They forget their heartaches. They forget all the things of life until, amen, after a while they come back down to reality and they have a big headache and a hangover. Amen. And they come back to the real world. But while they're drinking that wine, it seems like their spirits are revived. Their mentality is sharp, and they're happy and joyful. Amen. And I could say tonight, in the spirit world, I see a world that is crumbling. I see a world that is in darkness. I see even in the church world, amen, they have lost their joy. They have lost the glory. They have lost the power. Amen. My wife received a phone call a couple weeks ago. From an old friend, amen, when, when I first answered the phone and she told us who it was, I said, this is the voice of a ghost from the past. 
Amen. Long many years ago. Amen. We, uh, we knew, uh, her. Amen. In the church in Dallas, Texas. Amen. And she got to inquire in where we were, what we were doing. She said, is God moving in y'all's country? She said, Pentecost in this area where we live now. She said, it's dead. It's twice dead. She said, there's no joy. There's no refreshing. There's no reason to even go to the house of God. Amen. And I thought, amen, there's got to be a cry from the streets, the hunger of the people of God. Amen. And my wife said to her, amen, she said, is there still Pentecostal power out there in y'all's church? Amen. She said, come and see. It's still real. It's still rejoicing. We still shout and we still clap our hands and the power of God still falls. Amen. And I can tell you tonight, though the world out there, amen, is in darkness. Amen. Even in the religious world, all their emotion comes to a dead end after a while and they realize that it's all empty and vanity and vanity. Amen. But there's got to be a cry for wine. There's got to be a cry for the Spirit of God. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. In Psalm 78, 65. Ricky Reed. Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll find it there. Amen. Psalm 68. Uh, 78. I'm sorry. Psalm 78 and verse 65. Then the Lord awaked as one out of sleep, uh-huh. and like a mighty man that shouteth by reason of wine. As a mighty man that shouteth by reason of wine. He, praise God, his voice comes back to him. Amen. He said, God, are y'all still here? The Lord awakeneth as one out of sleep. Amen. He's come alive for our generation. He's not just a God. He is the God. He is the one and only God. There is no God like our God. And when our God awakes, amen, when our God comes to rescue, amen, his children, his people, he's waiting for a cry. He's waiting for a prayer. He's waiting for somebody to awaken, amen, and cry for spiritual wine. We need the Spirit of God in this generation more than we needed God in any generation previous to us. Amen. But if we'll get to crying for wine, God, we need the Holy Ghost to move in our church. We need the Holy Ghost to move in our families. We need the Holy Ghost to move in our children. We need the Holy Ghost to move in our men. We need the Holy Ghost to move in our women. Hey, I want to tell you when there's a cry that comes from the deep recesses of the heart and soul, God will arise. God will will awaken as a mighty man with a shout of victory. Somebody say amen. I am convinced. I am convinced as never before that in these days, dark as it is, cold in some churches as it is, dead as it is in some churches, but there is a great God, amen, that's waiting for somebody to pray and cry for wine. We need the Spirit now more than we ever needed it before in Zechariah amen in Zechariah chapter 10 in verse 7 Ricky read it and they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man and their heart shall rejoice as through wine uh-huh. yea their children shall glory to God wait a minute glad. wait a minute wait a minute amen and they of Ephraim wait a minute Haman Ephraim is that tribe that God had already said Ephraim has joined himself to idols let him alone Haman but now God 
is saying there's a cry coming out of Ephraim. Hey man, somebody's come to their senses. Hey man, and they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man. And their hearts shall rejoice as the wine. Praise God. I want to tell you. And then what, Ricky? Yea, their children shall see and it. And their children shall what? See it and be glad. Glory to God. Our They're... children is going to have a revival. Praise God. It's good for the old folks. Amen. To shout and rejoice. Yes. But yes. when their children and our young people see God's power moving upon the saints of old, there is something that will arise in them and they'll see it. And they'll say, this is wonderful. Yes. This yes. is glorious. On, and they too will be glad. Right. Amen. Amen. And their children shall see it and be glad. And what? Their heart shall rejoice their in the Lord. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. Ah, I feel like tonight there is a longing. I know, I know it's a dead time. Amen. It's a perilous time. It's a difficult time. It's a time of falling away. Amen. But I sense that there is a longing. Amen. In the hearts of true believers to experience the power of God. They want to see something that's real from the Lord. They are tired of carnal messages. Amen. They're tired of showmanship. Hey, come on here. They're tired of just uh, entertainment. They're looking. Amen. For something that will stir them from deep within. Amen. They're tired of that message that caters to their emotions. And academic sermons. Amen. That are aimed at their intellects. They want a fresh word from the Lord. They want something that comes from God. And I want to tell you, praise God, I am convinced that there's still a God in heaven that's on the throne. And there's a people of God here that is hungry. Amen. For crying for wine of the Spirit of God. Amen. This generation, I, I was privileged this past week uh, to go to the Bristol, Oklahoma camp meeting. I felt an urge to go about three weeks ago. I about made up my mind we wasn't going to be able to because of the price of uh, fuel and all that's, uh, you know, the cost of everything. Amen. But I just felt like I needed, I needed to go. Do y'all know preachers need to go to camp meetings sometimes? Amen. So I had Marsha to check on the prices. Amen. For the airline. And we both got a ticket. Amen. For both of us. A hundred dollars cheaper than what I could have just bought fuel for. Praise God. We got in the Oklahoma camp meeting and I looked around. Hey man, I probably saw more young people in that camp meeting that I've seen in years. Hey man, and they were in the altars praying and seeking God. Hey, somebody say amen. And their children shall see it and be glad. Hallelujah. Hey man, I saw eight year olds and 14 year olds and 18 year olds and 20 some year olds. Hey man, and young married people. Hey man, in the altars crying out to God and praying and seeking the Lord and the power of God fell in every meeting. Hey, it's an unusual meeting because there's not one dud. You understand that term? Hey man, not one bad preacher. Praise God, it all just fell in line together. Amen. You know why? Somebody's crying for wine. Somebody's crying and praying. We need a move of the Holy Ghost. And nothing short of that. Amen. We'll meet the challenge of our day. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Oh. 
I don't know about you, but I sense that there is a divine energy. Praise God that is inside of some saints of God that is reaching right now. Even in this service, I sense that there are some people in this service that's dead. I can tell you're dead. I can tell by the way you act. I can tell by the way you look. Hey, man, I can tell by the way you respond. You sit there like a dead head. Hey, man, cold as last year's bird nest. Dead as a doornail. Hey, man, but I sense that there are some other saints. Hey, man. God move on me it's not my brother nor my sister but it's me oh Lord standing in the need of prayer it's not the preacher nor the deacon but it's me oh Lord standing in the need of prayer and I want to tell you when you get to crying amen for spiritual wine amen from the power and the presence of God the Holy Ghost will move on you We need something that will get down inside of us and change the way we think, change the way we act. Somebody say amen. Something that will stir you, something that will invigorate you, something that will empower you. Amen. Kindle a new love for God and for the Lord Jesus Christ that you haven't had in a long time. I want to tell you, amen, contrary to what anybody would tell you, amen, the power of God is still available for us today. Hallelujah. But there's got to be a cry that comes out of the depths of the soul in the heart. Oh, God. Amen. Let us sense and feel that anointing and that power and that glory from another world. Hey, I want to tell you, it's just as real tonight as it was. Amen. 25 years ago. It's just as real tonight as it was when you got saved. It's just as real tonight as it was when you got the Holy Ghost. It's just as real tonight. Glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. We've had some great revivals. Amen. How many of y'all remember Larry and Bertha? Amen. She'd grab out tambourine. Amen. And sing and shout. But I want to tell you, God's power is just as real tonight as it was then. Hey, hey, hey. But what we got to have is a deep recessed. Amen. Cry from the depths of the soul. Oh, God, I need wine. I need spiritual wine. That's right. I'm almost through. Acts chapter 2. Praise God. 13. Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. Wait a minute. These men are what? Full of new wine. They are full. Not half full. Not a little dabble, do you? These men are full. Amen. Hey man, what are they full of? I'm feeling like about to shout now. Hey man, they are full of new wine. wine. Now, y'all stay with me here. Woo, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost. Hey man, I read that verse. Hey man, help me here. Somebody say amen. And the ancients of old, hey man, had discovered the secret. Amen of this wine, this special wine, this new wine. Before it ferments, amen, it has a uplifting effect. Re, I want to say here, revitalizing your spirit. Amen, and that new wine was different from old wine. Amen, glory to God. He said, they said, these men are drunken on new wine. But what did Peter say? But Peter, standing up with the Uh eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my word. For these are not drunken as ye suppose. Hey, hey, they are not drunken on what you think they're drunk on. 
Praise God. But glory to God, they're drunk all right. But it's not on the wine that you know about. This is different wine. This is heavenly wine. This is powerful wine. Hey, hey, Brother Mac and some of them used to sing that chorus. Drink another wine, wine, wine. I want to tell you, when there's a cry in the streets for wine, I want to tell you, God will give us new wine. Amen, that'll fit our soul. Amen, and he'll heal the sick again. Amen, he'll lift up spirits again. He'll lift up your head again. He'll bring you out of the doldrums. And out of the muck and mire of despair. And he'll give you power to be an overcomer. Oh, yes. But there's got to be a cry. Oh, and without the cry, let me stop for just a minute. Crying for wine in the streets. When you get to crying, you are really desperate. I remember those days, but I'm convinced that we're still living in the last days that God said, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. You young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And upon my servants and handmaids will I pour out of my spirit in those days, saith God. Amen. And it goes on to say a little further down in that chapter. Amen. That whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hey. Hey, man. Are y'all still with me? Hey, man. Why? Glory to God. Hey, man, brother. Look up here. Hey, man. You see, brother Fraser's his head just a shining. And if you get your eyes on his head that's shining with a light, you forget all about what's going on in the spiritual world. Hey, man. You forget about the amazing grace of God. You forget about that you're saved by grace. You forget about that God's done something mighty for you. You get your eyes on somebody else in this congregation and you lose the joy and you'll be in darkness before you get out of the house of God. But if you can get your head up and your eyes heavenward and get to crying for wine for yourself and for your own heart, amen, you can have a drink of heavenly wine. Somebody say amen. Crying for wine. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting something fresh. I am expecting an outpouring of that heavenly wine. I am expecting glory to God for some of these deadheads that hasn't had a shout of glory and victory in their hearts for five years. Amen. Amen. One of these nights, the Holy Ghost is going to come into this sanctuary. And all of a sudden, it's going to fall in this place just like it did on the day of Pentecost. Amen. When they were all in one place in one accord. And there came from heaven the sound as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Praise God. If opening this door would let the wind of the Holy Ghost come in. I'd take it off the hinges. And let not anybody close it. But it doesn't come through this door. It comes from the heavenly world. Praise God. And if you can get your heart open. And get the door of your heart open. And the Spirit of God. 
Amen. Will fill you and thrill you afresh and anew. Amen. Glory to God. You come out of that seat. You're not going to sit there for so long. When the power of God gets a falling and the wine is flowing. Amen. There'll be joy and there'll be gladness and there'll be power and there'll be an unction and there'll be an anointing. Everybody stand. He love a hasa kapa he tana manse. He love a haya kete. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to do it different tonight. If you don't want the blessing, and you don't want the power, and you don't want the glory, and you have no interest in the spiritual things of God, you don't care whether you drink or not, you can just stay right there in your seat. Amen. But if you're hungry, and you want to cry, Oh God, give me a fresh drink. Give me a fresh baptism. Give me a fresh anointing. Praise God if there's something inside of you that's moving and stirring. Praise God. Amen. Get out of your seat and come to this front. And just throw your hands heavenward. And say it's me Lord. It's me Lord. I need a new drink. I need a fresh drink. I'm tired of the old wine of the day of yesteryear and yesterday. God, I need it fresh. Hey, man, get to crying for wine. Hey, man, from God to fill your soul until there is an unction. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, send it on Glory down, to God. Lord, send it on down. Hallelujah. Come on, saints of God. Reach it back to God. 